Former UFC heavyweight title challenger Shane Carwin has been forced to withdraw from his New Year's Day bout with Roy Nelson at UFC 125 in Las Vegas due to a back injury. Carwin posted on his website that he had an MRI that revealed damage that may require surgery. He added that if surgery isn't required, he's going to be on the shelf from 8 to 12 weeks. If surgery is required, well, he doesn't know how long he's going to be out of action. The 12-1 Carwin is coming off his first career loss when he failed to supplant then-champion Brock Lesnar at UFC 116. It's unknown at this time if the UFC is going to find a replacement to take on the 15-5 and five Nelson who came up short in his attempt to become the number one contender when he was outgunned by Junior Dos Santos at UFC 117. The Tough 10 champion is 1-1 one one since defeating Brendan Schaub on the show's finale. During that time, Schaub has gone 3-0 and oh and is coming off a unanimous decision victory over former UFC heavyweight title challenger Gabriel Gonzaga last Saturday at UFC 121. While I think Schaub has earned the right to try and avenge his lone career setback against Big Country, the rematch isn't worthy of being a pay-per-view co-feature. Not at this time, anyway. That means the Ultimate Fighting Championship will most likely try to replace Carwin with a big name. And don't count out Brock Lesnar, who while getting dominated by Cain Velasquez and losing the heavyweight title last Saturday, remains, according to UFC President Dana White, one of the promotion's biggest draws. The question I have is, following the drubbing he received at the hands of Velasquez, will Lesnar be physically and mentally ready to return to the octagon in two and a half months' time? I guess time will tell. What about Mirko Krokop? He would provide Nelson with an interesting style matchup, and despite getting knocked out by Frank Mir in his last outing, he remains a fan favorite. I tend to lean towards Mir as the eventual replacement. He is 5-2 and two in his last seven fights, with the losses coming against Carwin and Lesnar. Who do you think the UFC should replace Carwin with? Hit us up at the MMA Show at thescore.com, and make sure you join me for Canada's first and most comprehensive mixed martial arts program, the MMA Show, Wednesday nights at 10.30 p.m. Eastern and Pacific, only on The Score.